I'm over here in Moab, Utah. This is my brand new shop that I'm building. 3,000 square feet. Uh, it's really awesome. And what I'm doing right now, I'm doing the plumbing for my shop. Now, we're going to be hooking up a toilet, a sink, and a shower stall. And then we're going to have two uh, outside water faucets. What we need to do is we need to build a manifold. This is a PEX. We're using PEX pipe. We need to build a, a manifold block which is going to separate all the lines. And if you're watching this video, that's what you're watching it for is to figure out how I can make a mono block or a manifold block the cheapest way possible without spending hundreds of dollars. So before we go any further, I want to show you, I got a lot of PEX fittings here. I got half inch and three quarter. Everything that I'm going to do is going to be half inch for the inside. And then on the water faucets for the outside, we're going to run three quarter pipe. Um, we got our clamps here. We got our shark bite PEX clamps. Uh, this is for clamping it to, let's say, the uh, studs or the walls or whatever. Um, we got our bands here. This is our support band. Um, need those definitely for sure. I went ahead and bought some clamps. I've been told not to use these because sometimes these actually give out and will separate and cause seepage or leaks. So what I'm going to use, I also bought the crimp ring and I heard that the crimp rings are the best way to go. So we're going to be sticking with the crimps and I'll be taking these ones back. And the reason I went ahead and bought these along with the crimps, now I want to make sure that everybody understands what's going on here. These are your clamps. Look real close. That's called a PEX clamp. And then the little black ring like you see holding in my hand is a crimp. Now both of these take totally different tools to make them work. And if you look right there you can see I've already used um, two of the crimps right here to put the T in for our water that's going to be going out for our faucets. And then this right here is your crimp tool that you're going to use for that specific crimp ring to install it. Now one more tool that you might want to go ahead and purchase along with your crimp tool is the ring removal tool just in case you mess up or the crimp doesn't go on properly you got this tool right here to remove it with um, and I suggest don't open that unless you really need it so you can take it back to the store and get your refund if it's not used. And then if we look at this package right here you can see it says clamp tool. And um, this goes all the way from half inch to one inch uh, clamp, the clamps, any size from half inch to one inch. And this is the tool that you would use for the clamps, which are these right here. So once again, we're going to stick with the crimp rings. Um, I've been told by more than five people, seven, eight, ten people to use the crimp rings versus the clamps. And that's what we're going to stick with. And hopefully we won't get any seepage or leaks out of our system when we pressure test it. Now that we got that covered, let's go ahead and get to the manifold block that we're going to build instead of actually purchase. If you look at these two items right here, these are called manifolds. Um, this is a distribution manifold, which means you hook your water up in one end here. Your, uh, that's your main water supply. And then on the other side, and you can't see that, and I'll show you. Uh, if you look right in there, that one goes all the way through. So you can continually run water out of the other end. Now this is a four stem manifold. You can see there's one, two, three, four. They also make a smaller one, which is a three stem, which that's what I'm going to use. And once again, I went ahead and purchased both of these along with the three stem because I didn't know which one I was going to use. And once again, you can always take those back to get a refund if you don't use them. And then this one here is called a closed port manifold, and I'm going to show you that because on the end of this one right here, it's actually closed, which means that water can go in, but it will not come out this end here. And then this one actually has four ports as well. And as you can see, here is the three port manifold with a blocked end, and this one is going to be used for our hot water. Uh, this will come out of the hot water tank. And then when we have three ports that we can separate off for our hot water if we have uh, different banks and stations that we need to go to. Um, we will only be using one of these, which will go to our uh, sink and shower. And then we will put a T in between that to run to our sink and shower. 
The other two we will be blocking off, and I'm going to show you uh, the, uh, the end that you will want to put on there to block those two off. So I've actually started making my manifold, my cold water manifold, so let's take a look at that and I'll walk you through it, and then I'm going to show you how to hook up the hot water manifold to the cold water. Normally what you'll have coming out of the ground, which will be your freshwater outlet, is going to be a one inch pipe. And then what you got here, you can see that I put a valve, this is a one inch valve, and this is an on off valve where I can turn my water on and off from inside the uh, bathroom here in case I have any leaks or, or uh, any type of situations where I might need to. Now these are shark bite. This is a shark bite uh, fitting which costs approximately $28, $32. Very expensive, but this is a good item to have. Um, you can also see where I am using steel studs in my bathroom. This is all steel studded out. So what I did is I mounted a short 2x4 on here. And then I clamped my 1 inch line to the 2x4. And then I came out of the shark bite, the 1 inch valve. And I went up and I put a 90 degree on our uh, fitting right here. And then once I got to this point... I went ahead and took a reducer from one inch to three quarter and then I went ahead and put my T in right here which will be for our water faucets outside and then I went into my cold water manifold. Now the same thing is going to apply to this fitting right here. I'm only going to use one of these and then I'll block two of them off. This end right here coming out of our cold is going to go down into our hot water heater. That's where that's going to hook up, right there, to the hot water heater. Now that we got our cold water manifold hooked up and ready to start running our lines through the ceiling, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get my hot water manifold ready to go. And what I did is I took some 3 quarter inch PEX pipe. You can see right here I cut them approximately an inch and a half, two inches, I'm sorry, two inches, I got two pieces and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one in here and this is once again this is a shark bite uh, fitting and this here is actually this is a tool that we're going to use and what this does this cleans the PEX pipe off um, there's a little blade inside there and when you put it inside here and you turn it just like that what that does it cleans the edges off and while it's in there what we'll do is we'll take a magic marker and we're going to draw a line on there and when we push this through our shark bite that's going to tell us that we're in all the way. So I'm going to take my magic marker and I'm just going to draw a line just like that and then as you can see it left a black line on it. So when we push it into our shark bite fitting we'll get it lined up and then if you look right here you can see that it stopped exactly at the end of the shark bite. Now that that's on there, we got to take an elbow, and then we're going to take this elbow right here, and it's going to go facing down. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and get our ring, our crimp ring. I thought I brought a couple crimp rings over here with me. I didn't bring them. Let me get them. I'm sorry, I did bring them there over here on the ladder. We're going to take our crimp ring, we're going to stick it on our 3 quarter inch pipe, PEX pipe, just like that. We'll then take our elbow, we're going to stick our elbow all the way into the end, just like that right there. And then we're going to bring our ring, and I want to make sure that that's got, okay. We're going to bring our ring approximately, I would say an eighth of an inch away from the end of our fitting right here. Then we're going to go ahead and take our crimp tool. We're going to open it up. We'll stick it very carefully on our crimp ring. And then we're going to go ahead and pull down just like that. And then when we let off, and I don't know if that one sealed or not. Yes, it did seal. Now the way that we're going to test that that sealed up good is we're going to use this tool right here. And what this tool is, is on one side it tells you what size pipe you're using. So when you stick it on here, it's telling you 
that you're using three quarter inch pipe. And on the other side, straight across from it, if, if you can put that on there, okay, this didn't crimp down good. This did not crimp down good, and the reason it didn't is because I was too close to the fitting. Um, when you put this piece right here, this end right here, should go on the, uh, uh, the crimp. And I'm going to show you if we look over on this one, you can see how the tool fits onto that. And that's telling us that that one is crimped properly. So this one here, we're going to have to take it off and recrimp a new crimp on it. What happened is I got too close to my fitting and it didn't crimp properly. Shit happens. So the way that we're going to go ahead and remove that and use the tool that I was just showing you is we're going to have to use this removal tool right here to take it off of our shark bite. This is a shark bite removal tool and when you pull it in like that you got to push that in to get that ring in there properly and then once that's pushed in then you can pull your shark bite your tube out of the pipe or that's here it comes okay I think so hang on a minute it's supposed to come right out of there but sometimes it's a bitch there Okay, so we have now removed our PEX pipe from the shark bite, and when you do remove that, the little plastic sleeve stays into the pipe, so you have to take that out and put it back into the shark bite itself. And all you're going to do is pull it out just like that, and then you'll fit it right back into the shark bite. You can see where it sits right in there. All right. Is that lined up? Yes, it is. Okay. And then, let's go ahead and move that out of the way. What we're going to do here is we are going to take this piece of PEX pipe, and I'm going to show you how to remove that ring. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your PEX pipe cutter, which is right here, and we are going to go ahead and we'll cut that pipe off right at, right at the end of our fitting just like this and this is the best cutter that you can buy you can pick this up at Home Depot or Lowe's for about seven dollars this is all you need okay so now we have cut the pipe off what we're going to do now is we're going to take our tool which is right here and then we will come in here inside the pipe and then we will push it down just like that and you can see it cuts that ring off Let's go ahead and get it on this side too. We're just going to cut it off. There it is. And now what we have done, we have removed our crimp ring off of our fitting. And then what we'll do, we'll go ahead and remove the PEX pipe off of the elbow so we can start over. And now, once you get your fitting to fit on there just like that, or should I say your tool, you know that it is crimped properly. Whew, okay, now that we went through that whole big fiasco, we got our elbow on here. We're ready to go ahead and stick our pipe, our, our PEX pipe, back onto our manifold. And it fits good, I like it, and we are now ready to um, finish this little project up. So, what we got here, this is our cold water manifold is what we're looking at. This fitting here will go down into the hot water tank and then once we got that all rigged up what we'll do next is we're going to repeat our process using this manifold and let me go ahead and put all that together and then now what we've done here is we created and built our own manifold block for our PEX pipe by using this one as our hot water. Once again, this will go down into the hot water heater as the hot water coming out. This is our out from the hot water heater and this is our in. This little section here is for our water hoses if you're going to add water hoses and then we got three ports of each. You can see that right there. There's three on this one and then here's our cold water three ports 
And what we've done is we've saved ourselves about $250 by eliminating buying a, uh, what do we call that, the manifold block. They sell these manifold blocks with hot on one side, cold on the other. Well, what we did is we went ahead and purchased these. I believe this one was $25. Uh, this one was $32. And then we used our brain and our sense and came up with this idea and saved us a lot of money. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. I'm ready to go ahead and run my cold water line here. I'm going to run my hot water line here. This is going to go over to the bathtub and the shower and the sink and toilet. And then I got my uh, outside water faucet hose, which is going to run up here and around and have a T going off to one side and the other. And I think we're ready. This is it. Well, we got all our plumbing finished. Um, you can see how I ran it through this wall here, came down. I went up and through the rafters. I came back down. And there's your situation right there. That's basically the end of the situation. We made our own manifold blocks instead of buying those high-tech expensive ones. They came out really, really nice. There's our hot water one. You can see where I blocked off the two I don't need. And then there is our cold. Comes around here. I got a test valve. I'm going to stick right there to pressure test the system. And then once all that's done, the manifolds did their job. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. Giving you ideas, taking you down the road, and showing you that if you've never done anything in your life and you want to jump into it and do it, it can be done. We'll see you later.